When Dr. Paramaswar Banerjee asked me to co-author a book about the science of timekeeping, I turned him down. Twice. I wasn't sure I was qualified, but it wasn't for lack of love. I really love the field of timekeeping. The very concept of time is beautiful, even though it's probably just a manifestation of a deeper reality. To understand it is to understand how everything in life fits together, from seeking with GPS satellites to probing the fundamental secrets of our universe. And I thought about how much I would have liked a book like this when I was a young physicist just hired at the U.S. Naval Observatory. So I dragged out drawers worth of old work papers and got to work. Fast forward two years and an introduction to modern timekeeping and time transfer has finally rolled off the printing press and landed on the bookshelves or at least the Amazon warehouses. I could tell you about the whittling of words, the fact-checking, the non-stop emails as Faram and I traded notes with each draft, but I'd rather tell you about the pictures inside the book. The introductory chapter starts with a local artist's conception of the emergence of time and matter from the Big Bang. The historical chapter shows how clocks have gotten more and more accurate over time. Others have made similar drawings, but we modernized it a bit. Clock advancement is actually much more rapid than Moore's law is for computers. Modern clocks are more precise 24-7 than anything else ever built to measure anything. The section on how atomic clocks work starts out with a deceptively simple illustration. Electrons change energy inside of an atom and give off radiation whose frequency acts like the oscillations of a pendulum to tell you the time. The chapter on evaluating clock performance starts with a standard dartboard analogy, but unlike others, it distinguishes between precision, accuracy, and a recently defined concept of trueness. Call is politically correct. Then come chapters on time transfer, including NTP, PTP, and three chapters on GNSS, which is GPS. The highest of the high-tech time transfer modes are time transfer through fiber optic, and two-way satellite time transfer, which I prefer to call twist. The need to average or control clocks leads to the timescale chapter. The best timescale is a compromise between competing requirements. Timescales embrace the full beauty of the timekeeping art. In the end, I decided I was qualified to write this book because what I didn't know I'd set out to discover. To the physicists, the mathematicians, the engineers, and the students of science, this book is for you until it needs updating.